What's up everyone, it's Tyrannic Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. There's just about a week until July's Korokoro officially comes out, but with all the leakers around, we're bound to get it this week. There's been tons of speculation that the next Korokoro will contain information on new areas in the Hoenn region, as well as two new Mega Evolutions. But until scans begin to pop up, take it with a grain of salt. Following up on my last video where we looked at concepts and possibilities of Mega Zangoose and Mega Viper, today we're going to take a look at the two most popular Mega Evolutions fans are anticipating, Mega Salamence and Mega Metagross, who are both pseudo-legendaries holding value, like Metagross being the signature Pokemon of Champion Steven. Let's begin with Salamence. Salamence is a very threatening Pokemon, commonly used as a mixed attacker thanks to its amazing move pool. It also gets the ability Moxie, which raises your attack with every Pokemon you take out, and once you get one Moxie boost, it becomes easier and easier to get another until you just ruin the opponent's team. Now, Pokemon fans have been comparing Salamence to Mega Charizard X ever since the release of X and Y, and most of the suggestions revolve around making Mega Salamence a Dragon Fire type and having a strong boost in both of its offenses. I'm not all for having multiple Megas being very similar to each other, but at one point they're gonna have to start overlapping each other. The most popular abilities for Mega Salamence were Moxie, Tough Claws, and Multi Scale. Moxie is already a given considering it was one of its normal abilities and works well for Salamence, and with boosted stats, it'll help Mega Salamence a lot as well. Tough Claws would be very beneficial to Salamence considering almost every physical move it learns can benefit from it and get that extra boost at no cost. And Multi Scale is an odd one, and I was actually surprised to see this as one of the most wanted abilities for Omega Salamence. Considering how helpful Multi Scale was for other similar Pokemon like Dragonite, fans feel it would work just as well for Salamence. While it would help Salamence in terms of almost always being able to take the first hit and being able to set up, I can see why it's such a strong decision, but in my opinion, I just don't see Mega Salamence getting it. Here's a concept design for a Mega Salamence. Its wings become sharper and its tail grows a sharper end. The spikes on its head point up to give it a more intimidating look and the red markings on its face grow and flow out. It's overall a very simple transformation, looking like it would maintain the same ability and stat ratios. This fan design is from a completely different perspective. Its wings turn into flame with spike-like flames at the end. The red markings on its face grow out like a horn and a horn forms in front of them. Its body takes on a darker look with its tail, hands and legs becoming black. The artist tried to make it turn into a pure dragon type to not suffer from the major weakness to ice types, especially considering it barely uses flying moves, but I feel like it looks more like a dragon fire type. It's overall a very different transformation from other concept arts and there aren't any Pokemon that really transform this much by just mega evolving, so I don't really see this happening, but it really is an interesting concept. And finally, my personal favorite is this concept art. The spikes on its head multiply and grow out like flowing hair. Its wings grow out, curve and extend, and its tail grows out similar to its wings. Spikes also form in various places like under its mouth, and steel armor forms on its stomach. The darker black look gives it more of a dragon-like appearance, and it looks like it is much more offensive. Similar to the last design, the artist tried to make it a dragon dark type, which I can definitely see happening. If Salamence did Mega Evolve in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I hope it looks like this. And next up is Metagross. Metagross is one of those Pokemon that you know will give you trouble the second you see your opponent using it. It's a physical tank with amazing attack and defense as well as fairly high special stats and an amazing move pool. Its speed is decent and with access to agility, it could become a tank that not only knocks you silly and eats up your attacks but also outspeeds you. Mega Metagross on the other hand would probably get a boost similar to Mega Tyranitar and get a boost to almost all of its stats, namely attack and defense. Its move pool supports the steel psychic typing perfectly and it wouldn't make sense for it to get a typing change. The most popular abilities for a Mega Metagross are Levitate, Iron Fist and Analytic. With Levitate it gains an immunity to ground attacks which are arguably the most common and annoying weaknesses it has. The other three weaknesses are easier to fight off and come on, you see Metagross levitating in the game and in the anime. It should have at least been its hidden ability. Iron Fist would heavily benefit a load of its moves like Meteor Mash, Hammer Arm, Bullet Punch and the Elemental Punches and give it a 20% boost at no cost. Just look at Metagross, it's literally got Iron Fists. An analytic would fit better if Metagross lost speed while it mega evolved, but it would still be plausible with decent speed. Analytic gives you a 30% boost if the opponent makes its move before you. It's that simple. Considering Metagross is a supercomputer with 4 brains and its Pokedex entry even states that it will analyze its foes and fight accordingly, I can definitely see Mega Metagross with this ability. 
Here is a concept design of what Mega Metagross could look like. This is actually a design created by the developers of fan-made Pokemon games called Pokemon Omicron Zeta. The cross on its face grows outward and points upward like steel horns. Multiple circle symbols form on its four arms and glow red along with its pivot points. A fourth claw forms on its hand and each claw spreads and grows out cutting through the edges of its hand and its entire body becomes black to give it a sturdier and stronger steel type look. This next fan design shows a much different idea on how Mega Metagross could look. A metang like arm forms on the back to resemble a scorpion tail, cannons form inside of its two front hands, and a cross and horn forms on its head. Red markings form all throughout the centers of each body part, and it ultimately looks like a Pokemon that would drop its defenses and speed for the sake of stronger attack and special attack. And my personal favorite out of the three Mega Metagross designs is this one, or should I say these ones. These fan made designs were made based off the idea that Mega Metagross would get an ability like Stance Change and would be able to switch between these forms like an Aegislash, but I'm more of a fan of calling these X and Y forms, let's not forget they exist. Metagross X's cross grows around its head with the horn underneath, the eyes originally on its arms form again for better visual coverage, and the two arms on its back fuse together to create one larger and more powerful arm. Metagross Y undergoes the same changes, but has its arms thrown back and curled into a tough defensive steel wall. Mega Metagross X could be the more offensive version with an ability like Iron Fist, and Mega Metagross Y could be the more defensive version with an ability like Filter. I'd really like to see more split Mega Evolutions, and Metagross is one I can definitely see getting them. There's also Mega Evolution art for Metagross in the style of Mega Alakazam, with controlling multiple Beldums around it, sort of like this, and that's also an idea I can see Game Freak doing. But anyways, that's it for this concept coverage video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on Mega Salamence and Mega Metagross and their type changes and abilities, as well as other Mega Pokemon possibilities you hope to see in these new games. With Koro Koro about to leak in the next few days, there's going to be a ton of coverage done, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to see the video on Mega Zvang... Zavangus. If you want to see the Mega Zangus and Mega Survivor video I mentioned earlier, go ahead and check out the video on the left.